Hello everyone, this is The Unspeakable at Innerscapes Art Studios. These are the colors, they're golden fluid acrylics mixed with GAC 800 and tar gel. And I'm going to try and recreate something from the last painting. So the last painting was somewhat of a surprise. It was a delightful surprise. I was playing hooky from doing my taxes and I decided to do a quick swipe. And I loved the way it came out. However, I had painted over another painting that had a lot of texture in it and that actually changed how it dried because this paint is so gooey. This paint keeps moving even when it's drying, even when it's hot, and it's not quite as hot today as it was then. So again, this is a total experiment. While we're watching this speeded version of the paint fill. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me and if you're new here you could subscribe and please hit the like button that would help get this distributed. Okay here it is and so I am going to um, add a little more gold right here and right here. I'm going to swipe to distribute the paint before I, before I tilt it. Today I'm interested in fields of influence. And what that means is there are ideas out there that everything has a field around it, like a magnet, everything. So that includes thoughts and feelings also, which are very difficult to quantify. But I'm not feeling so great these days. I'm kind of annoyed because of the second lockdown. I wasn't prepared for it. And in spite of that, I'm trying to think about potential goodness. Okay, those colors are wonderful and there's still a lot of paint on there and it could go many ways. I could swipe up and swipe some of this green up here, yellow and green. I could swipe down and get some of that blue. I don't know what to do. So here is some titanium white with no tar gel, just some GAC. Thoughts of potential goodness for me are not thoughts about how everything's going to work out and be fine and fantasize that I get everything that I want, but taking one moment at a time and saying to myself, okay, this is what we've got. This is how you feel. What's the best possible use of all of this right now? I'm really stretching it here to see what will bring out the best in this painting. Even if I make a decision or take an action that I'm not satisfied with or I don't like or it was a mistake, I still go back into the moment and say, what's the best possible use of this right now? I like subtlety, but you really have to have something to catch people's eye, which I have here. There's a little to catch the eye. In considering the best possible action or the best use of what's happening right now, it gets complicated in that not only do I have to consider it for myself, but I also have to consider it for those around me and those that my action might affect. Okay. Gee whiz, I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, I have some pearl white with some tar gel, which I just put on there without even thinking. As I'm trained and as is the habit of this culture, all of that considering happens in the mental part of the brain, the thinking part of the brain. But there's a whole intelligence and a whole field in my gut and in my other organs, and they have their own intelligence. 
and how to bring that into consideration to expand the possibility of intelligent action and considerate action. I think I like that. And if it would dry that way, that would be great. But I know this will move, so we'll see what the surprise is for today. Here's the dry result from these very unusual paints that I've only worked with four times. I got them last year. They're high quality, so they dry very vividly. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you stay safe, stay well, and find the beauty and the best possible use of this tumultuous and inspiring time. I'll see you soon in the next video.